Swatch King app Shopify tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the Swatch King app into your Shopify store and add the swatch colors to the product that you have. So this app is going to be demonstrating here the real uh, product options for the product section, of course. And also it will be here, um, let's say magnifying the uh, details about the product and also we put in some focus into the color picking. So it is very easy and very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. So the first thing that you need to do is to head over to Shopify.com, sign in for an account and to see the admin dashboard of yours. The second thing, make sure that you have here a product added to your library right there or your product stock. So after that, you're going to type in on the search bar at the top and type in Swatch Kink like that and search for the app. So you are going basically to see here the Swatch Kink app. If not, you are going to click on search on the Shopify store. So you are going to see it right there. So this is a very good uh, app that will let you here set up here the variants and the options that are available for your product. You're going to see here that we have uh, something unique about this app, which is going to be here at the aesthetic. So as you can see here, the aesthetics are very, very attractive. So we are going to start by clicking on install on this app. So what are we going to do is to wait for the app to be uh, setting up the uh, permission. We're going to permit it by clicking on install again. Uh, here we are going to click on it. Uh, this app is very uh, successful because it is set as a built for Shopify tagged or labeled. So we are going to set it here. So we have uh, already installed the app. We are going to click on pin to the navigation. We are going to wait for the menu. Now, so here we are going to do, or what are we going to do? If your store is password protected like mine, so obviously I do not have here a um, account or a subscription uh, bought from Shopify. What are we going to do is to open up here the online store. We need to share our password. We're going to add it here. So we are going basically here uh, to have the password of our store. Click on preferences. We are going to get it from here. Copy and paste it. This is only for the case that you have a password protected uh, website. In my case, it is uh, here. But in your case, normally you are not going to get that because you are going basically to have a subscription or a plan, premium plan from Shopify. Now, let's put this aside. We're going to head over the Swatch King. Now, the online is, or the password is set. Now, what are we going to do is to enable the app. Here we have the theme. We have the um, DOM theme. So we are going to set it up. App is disabled. So we are going to manage the block by clicking on it. And then we are going to enable it. Make sure that it is going to be enabled. Everything is going to be with uh, just a click. So here we have it. What we're going to do is to click on save. Boom. And here we have some options. As you can see, we have the product grid uh, settings. We have the swatch alignment to the left, to the right, or the center, the swatch position after image, after price, or after the title. Here we have some uh, options that could be changing the variant image when hovered over swatch or auto select the variant. Now this is for later, so we are going to exit this. Here we have did the first thing, which is going to activate the uh, swatch app. Uh, here we have it embedded. I'm going to click on uh, here. Uh, apply this so this is for uh, the published theme i'm not going to activate it for prestige because it is an unpublished theme so we are not going to bother ourselves for this one now what are we going to do is you head over the configure uh, shopify variants so we are going to click on configure now we are going to select the product so we have the shoe size as you can see as variants you can add here the variants from the product. So we are going to head over here. So we are going to click on the product and we can here see that we have some variants. So obviously I have added only the uh, shoe variant uh, for the size. If I want to add some options, for example, here we have the, uh, the shoe size, for example, 
you can add another thing like here not the shoe size but the shoe colors so instead of the sizes you are going to add the colors for example i'm going to add another option so we are going to put it here uh, some let's say here uh, some other colors like blue beige black bronze brown for example orange red and etc i'm going to click on save and now normally you are going to see here the uh, swatches that are going to be here so the swatches or the swatch king app is going to be working with the uh, variants that you have added so i'm going to click on again on configure uh, shopify variants we're going to see here normally the sizes i'm going to put this so the sizes or, or the colors are not going to show up here but here they have so what are we going to do is to select these two or we are going to work on these these as you can see the product page style we are going to have some options so we have the default the drop down with label swatch in pill for example i'm going to put it as swatch in pill now we are going to see here the uh, variant uh, image uh, here we have a second image last variant color or custom image so i'm going to put it as color and uh, custom image now for the sizes we are going to put here uh, some maybe some uh, drop down or button or squat or square swatch swatch for example i'm going to put it as this now for the as you can see the collection page style we do have some uh, styles. We have here a square button, square swatch, drop with label, text only, or circular swatch. So here we are going to select, for example, the collection page style for the product. It is going to be dependent on the thing that is going to show up. Now for the upload, you are going to enable, if you want, uh, enable you to upload custom swatches when the styles is set to color, custom, or image. So here you are going to have the option to bulk update the swatches or bulk update the option. So basically here we have set up everything. So you can get here the option selection to auto or manual. It is up to you. Now what we're going to do is to head over the product. For example, here we are going to head over the product and see the swatches if they are going to be working. So here we are going to visit our store, click on the product, and we are going to see. So here, basically we have, as you can see, the colors. We are going to see here the, um, the colors that are available. So here, what, what did we add? So I'm going to check here the ads that we have made. So configure, change. Here we have the color. It is going to be swatch uh, in pill. This is the swatch in pill. So we are going to change that to something like your button. So we are going to click on button. I'm going to uh, put up here square button or circular swatches. Uh, so we are going to set up here colors. We can go ahead and add or uh, upload a color. For example, for the beige, we're going to see the beige. Uh, here you can go ahead and use a hex code, for example. I don't know how to make that page, but I think it is going to be like that. The black is going to be like this. The blue, we are going to put here the blue that we want. So uh, here we have the bronze. So I'm going to add here a bronze, maybe something like that. I don't know. So you can go ahead and uh, sort uh, on Google the colors brown. So we are going to see here some brown, maybe like this or like that. And here we have orange. So we are going to see it just like this. And the red is going to be fully like that. I'm going to update that. So you are going to see the changement for there after I have a refreshed page. So we are going to see them. Here we have the things that we have, as you can see here, it is going to be a circular swatch. So we are going to put them like this. And these are going to be uh, like these. So the colors are changed or the colors didn't 
for their setup here we have as you can see a bottom pill so we are going to put here a bottom pill i'm going to save that and refresh the page and see so basically the saving are set so custom i have already uploaded the colors i don't know if they are going to be appearing or not so it is going to be here an option now for the size of the shoe you're going to see them as this square swatch so maybe you are going to put them as bottom pills so i'm going to put it like this now what we're going to do is to head over here and refresh the page multiple times until you are going to see here the effects so these are going to be the swatches maybe you are going to wonder why the uh, maybe the um as you can see the colors or the numbers of the sizes are going to be here um uh, slashed with a uh, as you can see a line because here unfortunately i haven't modified my product so the product is going to be here and for the quantity as you can see everything is zero now also for the uh, sizes like this it is going to be set up to zero so this is a fault uh, by me that i have committed now for the options that we have or the variants are going to be here depending on the uh, option that you have so you can create a product group for example you are going to click on here and import a product group so you are going basically to add a product for example like that and then you are going to put a group name for it and also a option that is going to be visible for it so for example here color so group name color swatch for example and then we're going to set up the uh, status as active the display group position is going to be above the product option or the below it here the option style is going to be chosen like that a button pill for example or a drop down with a label polaroid swatch or for for example something like that now you can go ahead and upload the swatch you need to save the group first so we are going to save it and also you can go ahead and add the sport issue for example colors so for example like that and then you are going to add the uh, uh, options just like this so we are going to put here some uh, groups so here we have the product uh, page style for example so basically i'm going to add over here or head over the product page style you're going to see here some of the uh, preset styles so here we have the circular swatches you can go ahead and customize them and uh, get an idea on how we can do that here we have the all the swatches options that are available that we've had uh, made some adjustments and also shows some let's say here uh, options before when we have created these so you are going to get the presentation of them so you can go ahead and uh, click on customize see them like this or also use them so you can see here the colors also you can see the images we have the selected swatches the unselected swatches you can go ahead and put here whatever style that you want on the customization so here we have the button with price the circular swatch the polaroid swatch the bottom pill which is going to be here normal you can go ahead and customize them for example here the selected you can go ahead and put the background color for it for, for some for example something like maybe i don't know so you are going to put them uh, maybe green like that and also make it that it is going to be here uh, selected so i'm going to uh, refresh the store and you are going to see here the uh, preset color that we have added this is the green um background color that we have added to make sure that everything is selected to be like this so you can go ahead and change that color from here so you can add some animation effect for example increase or add shadow or add a glow or for example a shadow something like that or increase the size this is ugly a little bit so we're going to add here uh, right there for the unselected buttons you can go ahead and put a also a text color or something like that a background color for this too so maybe you are going to ignore it for example we are going to make it transparent and we want to add this color as red so what are we going to do is to save here 
we're going to click on refresh and you're going to see the effect boom now we are going to back here and see the uh, the other options for example here we have the swatches like buttons screw swatch a drop down with label for example something like that here we have the swatch and fill the drop down and etc now for the collection page styles we are going to see them right there this is the collection page style so we are going to get them as it is so here we have it for those you can browse more styles for example like this and see here whatever style will suit you, you can add here some styles also for the product page i think that we have some more styles that we can add to the library and also customize them so these are the other styles so this is something new that we have the radio labels radio button and also the horizontal radio button now for the app settings you're going to get them right there so you can basically here manage the app and also the some things that you can go ahead and put on or off or what i wherever for the localization you can add for example here some languages for multi uh, language purpose websites or stores and here we have it so back to the swatch king menu you can go ahead and also design a collection paste tile and see here the um, uh, statistics of the uh, page or the uh, swatches that you have put to the products so basically that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i'll see you soon have an excellent